Uh, this chicken tortilla soup, it's got a lot of ingredients, but I won't let that fool you. Basically, all you have to do is throw everything into the pot, and this is one of those you're not going to scorch it. You can let it cook, you know, four hours, you can let it cook up to eight hours. Uh, I've actually found the longer you let it cook, the better, it, you know, the stronger the flavor it'll have. Uh, you just have to check to make sure and add a little bit of water because you don't want to cook all of it out sometimes. Okay, and also, now this calls for a rotisserie chicken, so you can use leftover chicken or anything. But if you use a raw chicken for pitting in this, you obviously want to cook it for a little bit longer. Uh, obviously for tonight, I've used a pre-cooked chicken. <laughs> okay. Now you can take forks and pull it apart if you want to, or pull it apart by hand, or you know, cut it up with a knife. Just whatever your preference is. Just go ahead and make sure and pull this apart. Now if you throw it in raw, obviously you're going to be pulling it apart later. And if you're doing that with it being hot, using two forks is going to be the easiest way. <laughs> unless she has some really strong fingers. <laughs> okay. But the one of the advantages if you have leftover chicken, you don't have to worry about it, so. <laughs> and obviously this is stuff that you can prep the day before if you want to, and just throw it all in the pot the next morning. Okay. Okay, and as I was saying, it's basically all the ingredients. You just start throwing into the, now it says mashed uh, tomatoes, crushed tomatoes is the way you'll find it uh, listed here. Take your black beans, make sure that you rinse them off real good. And put a little bit of water in there. Enchilada sauce. Small can of green chilies. Let's go ahead and just stir that up a little bit. Throw in some chili powder. Like I said, if you like it spicy, double the amount of chili powder and add in a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper. If you're one of those that don't care for hot spicy food, if you leave it just as it is, even though it has these spices in, it's a mild flavor. Okay, then the cumin. Oregano and salt. <coughs> and another thing you can add to it if you like it spicy is a little bit of white pepper. That adds a little bit of flavor as well as a little bit more heat. Got anyone who want a single bay leaf? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and stir those seasonings in. Make sure they they're mixed in really good. All right. Just take a bag of frozen corn. And 
some fresh cilantro. You don't have to cut this up really fine. Just small enough where you're not getting any large leaves or anything in there. And this is one I'd recommend using fresh as opposed to using dry because you will tell a difference in the flavor that way. Because that fresh, it'll help seep into the soup. Okay. All ready. Stir all that up. Once again, like I said, if you're using raw chicken, <laughs> give it about two and a half hours and then check the chicken. It should be done enough, uh, maybe three hours, depending on your uh, cooker that you're using. <laughs> and then go ahead and pull it apart with uh, two forks, just separate it. <laughs> but if you're using pre-cooked chicken, <laughs> You know, it's going to cut the time down in half, obviously. And you, want, you can go ahead and pull it before you throw it in, which will simplify it for you. Okay, now the next thing we're going to need for this is some uh, corn tortillas. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. You take these. If you want to use the oven, Take about, I'm going to do four of them here, but usually take about eight of them really is what you would need for a recipe this size. I'm going to take some vegetable oil. You don't want to overdo it just enough to where you can see it's glistening where it's got an even coat across it. And make sure and do both sides. You want to have the oven preheated at 400 degrees. We're going to cut these into strips and spread them out across a baking sheet. Let's go ahead and just restack these. And about a quarter of an inch thickness be plenty. Now an alternative, you can take them without putting the oil on it. Go ahead and cut them up in the strips like this. And you can throw them in oil and go ahead and fry them up that way. And they're just as good that way, too. But if you're doing it this way, make sure you pull those apart, or else they will stick together and you will get, you know, kind of the inconsistency because some of them will be kind of gooey there where they stick together. And you just throw that in the oven, let it cook for about 10 to uh, 15 minutes, like so. And when they come out, Get a nice crunchy texture. These will actually go on top of the soup. You want to put those on at the very last moment so that way they still have that crunchy texture when they bite in the soup. You don't want that real soggy uh, flavor to it. And the same thing you want to do with an avocado as well. You want to add it on uh, at the last moment too so that way you have that freshness of it. Just spoon there and pull that out. And just cut it up in nice little slices there.
Okay. And once it's done, go ahead and put your tortillas on first. Just let them fall on top of it. You don't want to push them down or anything. And if you want to, you can cut these down to smaller bite sizes too. But as you can see, it's a colorful dish doing it that way. And the flavor, you'll be able to taste it. It's just, it's a wonderful mix, hitting that crunchiness with that fresh avocado.